welcome back everyone in this video we will explain you 20 basic formulas for beginners in ms excel so these are the formulas the function that we will explain in this video some average count count a max min f we look up h look up index match can cat left right mid train proper upper lower and now these are the 20 basic formulas so let's explain them with examples so let's move to sheet one in sheet one we have our data this is a table of data that we have and we would like to uh, perform operation on this uh, data to just use these formulas the first formula is sum so sum is used to find the adds okay to adds values numbers for example these are the numbers you want to find the uh, sum of these values okay to add them with each other so let's find the sum of all these cells how much cell we have so simply to use the sum formula we simply before all formulas we write equal sign after that the name of the formula which is sum press tab and open parenthesis after that select the values that you want to add them after that close the parenthesis and press enter so the top sum of all these three values is 4700 now let's move to the second one which is average average is used to find the average value for us for example we want to find the average profit of us okay the average profit so to find the average so for that we use average function select the values close it and press enter so the average benefit is 316 for us for all these three employees the third formula is count count is used to count number for us in a range for example you are selecting this range so it will count those cells which contain the number so let's do it for example count equal to count select for example i am selecting these cells so it will just return these nine okay because we have numbers in nine cells look at the result is nine it is just returning the result of those cells which contains number <coughs> count a count a is used to find it means to count non-empty cells okay if you select these so it will just return the number of these cells okay non-empty cells so let's do it count a i am selecting these cells close it press enter so just 14 uh, 12 uh, cells because these cells contain something text or numbers max max is used to find the maximum value for example we would like to find the maximum cell so for that let's do it equal to max Two thousand minimum is used to find the min value min min function so let's use the min also press enter so that minimum value is 1200 if f is used for logical testing if the condition was true so it will return one value if that was false another for example let's use it so here for example f if the sales this sales value was greater than for example uh, 1400 return high else return normal press enter so high so it will be just applied on other sales also like high and normal these two are high and the third one is normal that is how you can use the f for logical testing if the condition was true one value if that was false another value we look up is used it means vertical lookup it is used to find a value vertically for us we are specifying the column and we are returning the value for example we want to return the profit for example we want to just return the profit of second uh, okay the we want profit per second row for this one okay for this second row we want to find the profit so let's do it okay to use the we look up just come here we look up equal to we look up after that look up value for which value you are searching i am searching for id number two this one 
okay i want to search based on id so i specified that id you can just select here this cell and in this cell you can write the id number so it will find for you so let's for example select this one comma table array so i will select my table array just these four columns i will select comma column index i want to find profit which is in third column first second and third column false close it and press enter so right now let's write here the id number for example two so the profit for two is 400 so it means that let's change this to uh, number yeah two so let's change this id number to one so look at for one at the profit is 300 that's how we can use that let's now move to the h lookup which is used for horizontal horizontal lookup it means it will search based on no uh, on row for example we want to find the quantity per employee which is john okay we want to find quantity per employee per employee based on employee name so let's do it okay id h lookup equal to h lookup first of all lookup value so i will select this one so this is uh, employee name okay comma uh table array so let's select all this table array until quantity so after selecting that row index okay we are finding okay sir i, I showed uh, i just told you that we would like to find the uh here we are selecting the row number okay for example for the second column i want to find the quantity okay for second one so let's do it in second row false close it so now here we should write just this quantity okay the quantity so look at quantity per second row is 15 uh 10 sorry yeah that is like per i specified let's check the formula yeah first row and second row let's change now this to third okay change this to third third number row. per third row the quantity is 15 look at that is 15 and if you change that to four just change the row four so for the four is 12 the quantity is 12 this is column based so we are searching horizontally it means based on the row for this row for third row for fourth row, uh, row. so it was h lookup index index is used to find value for us based on specifying column and row number for example we want to find like let's what we want to find we want to find the total okay we are specifying this position we are specifying j column and third row so it will find as this total so let's do it okay first of all array so let's select our array for example this is our array comma row number so the row number is we want to find the total for second row so i will specify two and column number okay comma column number column number so column is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten close it press enter so that is 500 per second row and 10 column that is 500 that we have found it is just returning a value based on uh, you are specifying column and row number now let's use map let's move to another function uh, which is match match is returning position first of all it find a value then return just the position of that let's use it you will see that equal to first of all look up value for example i am looking for jane okay the position of jane i want to return comma look up array example this is our array close it and press enter uh, so what happened oh sorry yeah yeah we should just select here instead of this let's 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 close it and instead of this just specify this column so it is returning just based on the column okay now it is on third uh or a number okay the position would be third three look at that is on third 
uh, row okay whenever you select the column you can also select like row base select your row so it will return the number of column for you concat is used to just to join two strings for example you want to join employee and comments okay so for that simply write concat select the first one comma third comma how many strings you want just concat them press enter john cell left is used to return the left side values okay for example you would like to return just the widget okay from left side you want to return five characters okay so let's do it i will specify it here left is equal to left first of all select your string for example this one come on, how many characters you want uh, i i want six character look at widget and let's the second function which is right it is return the number of character from right side equal to right text for example this one i want to return just the first character from right side which is x look at x and mid is used to return based on your number for example you are specifying from second character to third character like this so let's do it this one comma start number for example i would like to just start from uh fourth character okay fourth comma uh, number of character how many character you want three character close it and press enter git i will just save it because the start was uh four, fourth number character and i want it to return three character which is git and trim is used to remove the spaces unused and extra okay the extra spaces from a string for example in this string index like here we have space at the start spaces here and we want to remove the those spaces so for that let's do it okay equal to trim select this one press enter so widget z it will remove all the before and the mid spaces wrapper is used to capitalize the words for example it will just uh, capital uh, capitalize each word in a sentence for example we have this okay hello how are you so it will just capitalize each word okay so let's do it equal to proper select this so look at hello how are you just capital the every letter of a word and upper upper is used to convert to uppercase equal to upper select this close it press enter so it will capitalize all the letters and lower is used to a uh, small character okay lower example you selected this all in lower case and now now function is used to return the date and time right now okay then now let's use it okay the date and time right now which is 9 17 24 and 9 26 am so it was all about these 20 20 basic formulas for beginners and i hope you learned something from this video so if you like this video helpful so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like this video and comment down thanks for watching